And welcome to another episode of Cyber Nights. I am your host, DM Dave, here with Sputter Media. And without further ado, let me get into introducing my fantastic cast members. <coughs> Thank you guys for tuning in. We appreciate you. Uh, first on the board is Legion. Legion, why don't you go ahead and tell us who you are and where they can find you. And my surprise question for the day is, uh, what is the th something that has happened to you in real life that makes you believe we are already in a cyberpunk dystopia? Ooh. Oh, that's tough. Um... <laughs> Uh, hey everybody, I'm Eric, playing Legion, the friendly neighborhood lawman. Uh, you can find me pretty much anywhere at Nagatsu underscore Seiken. Uh, feel free to hit me up. Uh, as for the question... Ganel. Oh. Oh, I know. I actually got a perfect answer for this. Um, in 2007... I was first diagnosed with epilepsy and my meds at the time were still in the experimental phase. They fortunately pro proved to be extremely effective. However, I was uninsured and a month's supply was $1,400. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Yep, that, that sounds about right. Uh, okay, next up we have Lovelace, played by the lovely Emily. Emily, tell them who you are, where they can find you, and yes, yeah, same question. Hello, everyone. My name's Emily. I'm playing Lovelace, the team's netrunner slash tech. And, oh, you can also find me on Sunday nights, and the Alderton stream is Clover. And on Instagram as Kittenman66. But to answer the question, I uh, am really into epidemiology and like biomedical sciences. And I think the fact that they're doing research into 3D printing organs is very cyberpunk. Oh, yeah. That's some really cool research, too. Yeah, right. I love medical research, and, you know, I think the breaking front of medical science is so cyberpunk, but it's so hard to test when you're yeah. here working with people's lives. But if you're in cyberpunk, then, you know, fuck it, lives are expendable. That is very true. Uh, excellent. So, let us get on to Banshee. Banshee, tell them who you are, where they can find you, and, of course, same question. Hello, hello. Once again, I am the voice of Banshee. You can find me at my Twitter handle at TVJade. And so the question was, how do I know we're already in a cyberpunk well, dystopia? Well, what's, what's something that's happened to you in life that uh, 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 tells you we're already, yeah. You know, cyberpunk stuff. Well, it's not something I, it's personally happened to me. Okay. But it's something I've noticed. Sure, I'll buy that for a dollar. The BlackRock Investment Group bought out Ancestry.com, and now they're selling your ancestral data. Okay. Uh, yep. That tracks... Uh, pff, woo, huh, mind blown there. Uh, all right, before we get to yam spurts, uh, do me a favor, guys. I need a couple of just random rolls in the uh, roll log. Just I don't know, do some random checks in the background before we before I can display the roll log, and uh, we will get over to yam spurts. Can you go ahead, tell them who you are and where they can find you, and same question, please. Greetings, everyone. Uh, favorite character here, Ian Spurts, a.k.a. Joe, a.k.a. Uh, Snack King on our Donner Alderton game here on Sunday nights. Uh, you can find me on the internet as Snack King or some variation of that. 
Um, if you want to really dig for me, I'm also known as Old Joe 486 in some circles. Um, I'm a man of many hats. If you ask my IRL friends, I've probably got about 35 nicknames that people call me by. Um, but something that's happened to me that makes me believe we are living in a cyberpunk dystopia. Mm-hmm. Um, Uh, the least depressing one is... The uh, least depressing one. Oh, <laughs> I love it. Yeah, so you, you said this and it hit me. I'm like, ooh, ooh, ow, this is like a 3-2 combo right now. Um, but, uh, insane medical bills leading to, um, people I, uh, love and cherish being homeless. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. That yeah. is, that is something that is, um, right up there, isn't it? And uh, why don't you go ahead and, speaking of uh, cyberpunk dystopias, go ahead and give our sing our praises to our corporate overlords here. Oh, the song isn't finished, but um, I'll talk about uh, our good friends over at Dubby. Uh, Dubby is the energy drink of the future. It is a cheerless energy drink derived from the uh, coffee fruit, not the bean. Uh, check them out at the link that someone is now posting. Uh, use our promo code PurpleNurple and get 10% off your purchase. And, you know, be caffeinated. It is a uh, powdered caffeine uh, alchemy subject. Um, words are hard right now. I don't know why. Uh, <laughs> but it, 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 it comes in powdered form, so you can mix and match as you want. Follow the instructions. Um it's great for days when you need more energy, great for days when you need less energy, and it's not like other energy drinks, you know, I can drink one roll to the late in the day and have no problem sleeping, so uh, comes highly recommend it from all of our cast who has tried it. Excellent, thank you very much, and uh, without further ado, let's just jump right into it. It's uh, a relatively simple recap, I'll go ahead and do it for... Uh, uh, DMIP, I'm just going to give myself, no, y'all get uh, uh, 10 IP since I'm doing the recap instead of 20, uh, but I'm going to keep it simple, stupid, and, and, and short and to the point so we can get right into the fun, and that is we were kind of at uh, Yam's apartment where he was doing an apology tour of a dinner, and uh, uh, it was, it had mixed results from different characters, but uh, uh, near the end of said apology to our dinner, you guys heard a shout from inside um, Yam's bedroom where Limbo has been working on his Elf Lines Online character. And the uh, he shouts out, I got in! I got in! And that's literally right where we're just going to pick it up right there here you guys are in yam's apartment fast one question for clarification sure sure is this on his account or the account he had made for uh, nobody uh his account okay the account that he what made is- for nobody is not nearly high enough level yet i didn't think so but you know i was hoping it's all right cool But, uh, yeah, here you guys are in Yam's apartment, and, uh, you, Yam and, uh, what was it, Banshee, uh, had just been, Lovelace and I, oh, Lovelace, Lovelace and Yam had just been, uh, investigating the sounds, and that is where we are. Uh, before we go to Yam and Lovelace interacting, uh, I want to hear from the other uh, people in the room. Butterfly is in the room, but obviously uh, Sola is not available for us to, uh, with us tonight, so she will just be on autopilot. Uh, but Legion and Banshee over here, uh, what is your reaction to just just hearing the, sh- the shout? Fuck. Do you know what's going on? I'm I'm still pretty pissed off at Yam and kind of lost in my thoughts don't really give a shit so I'll give me a concentration check and 
on that note, let's go ahead and get the rolls visible for everybody. All right. There let's we go. See. And apparently a random play instrument check. Banshee's just like strumming away at his guitar over there. Right. Uh, concentration, yeah. So uh, you are... Um, your concentration roll was high enough for you to be able to um, have your wits about en you enough to, to respond to what's going on in the world if you choose. Yeah, at, at this point, I don't give a shit. Um at, I imagine at this point I would just be grabbing another glass, making myself another whiskey sour and just sipping. Alright, give me a uh resist torture drugs check. Let's see how drunk Legion is really getting over here. Okay. Yo. Oh man. Legion can hold his liquor. You are not yet. Uh, feeling the effects of uh, being intoxicated. And Banshee, uh, you asked, do you know what the fuck is going on? And uh, you didn't really seem to get much of a response from Legion there. I will finish my drink and see if there's enough components to make another silver hand. Oh yeah, the components are there. Go ahead and uh, also, if you're sipping, uh, if you're drinking that drink down, uh, uh, give me a resist torture drugs check. All right. <clears throat> Banshee too is uh, a well-established drinker and can can throw them back with the best of them feeling no ill effects meanwhile let's go ahead and pan the camera over to oh sorry uh, uh oh that was your reaction let's pan the camera over to lovelace and yam lovelace and yam what are you guys doing now that you uh so you're right there you walked in the door you see uh limbo sitting on yam's bed on his computer and it's pretty clear why he didn't get a very good job on the task that he was actually being assigned to do that was work related because he's sitting here playing the game uh yam what you doing uh wait hold on uh, you said you 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 got in yes i just got uh invited into the guild for their next raid next week all right uh are you can you perform well in the raid I, I think so. I, I mean, like, I, I, I've been playing a lot of Elf Lines online lately for reasons. Are you geared in the game? Is that a thing? I mean, I could probably get some extra cool shit if you got gave me the eddies. How much... Oh man, to to get some premium online stuff, it it's uh, over the table talk. It is uh, the exact same economy, so something that is excellent quality uh, is gonna be expensive, i.e., a thousand eddies, etc., etc., etc. The Elf Lines online economy mirrors the real economy of Cyberpunk very, very closely. Cool. Uh, I'm gonna immediately turn the love lace. Can you use your uh, hacking abilities to get him some cool shit? Is that how it works? It does not work that way. She would know that. <laughs> <laughs> Unfortunately, not. Hey, Limbo, how is that character you're working on while well, you were working on for nobody? And he kind of bequeathed it to me. Ah, well, there's no way that is ready yet. It's it, 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 That character could not participate in this raid. Okay. It would take more okay, than a it, it would take more than a week for for him to get that character up, especially as he is wanting to prep his character for the raid. I gotcha. Okay. Fair enough. I wish I could do more to help. Well, hold on. Is there a way to track where another player is using the game? Well, uh... 
if um the frizz explained uh uh that bit of the plan to me as best i understood uh getting in to this raid would give her the time to try and locate through the connection uh uh po possibly get a location on that ip address so to speak Okay, and you said the raid is next week? What day? How many days till the raid? Call it seven. To the minute? Give or take. Excellent, okay. So if Lovelace was working on it, she wouldn't still wouldn't be able to get her character ready in a week? Uh, you, if you were working on it, you might be able to get the character ready in a week. Correct. Okay. Um, uh, yeah, I tell you, um, I'll, I'll work on my character. Hopefully I can go in with him and we can do that while Frizz is working. Okay, that, that's fair, I guess. The more the numbers are, uh, the higher the numbers, the better the chance. Either that or I can help Frizz, whatever you think would be more helpful. If the character's not the correct level, then I think helping Frizz would be the best bet. Okay, I'll, I'll talk to her about what I can do to help. Excellent. Um... Legion, make a list of things you could need for the character uh, and prices, and I will work on what I can. Fine. Legion or Limbo? Uh, limbo. Definitely not Legion. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> I thought you were ready right, right, to do that for me. <laughs> get another drink and talk to Frizz. Uh, stop in the hallway right no, right about one more square. Uh, everybody give me a perception check. Right. I guess I got all my shit rolls out of the way in my first game. Damn. Nice. Legion, Legion is the only one who rolled high enough. You recognize, you hear the distinct sound of the pop of a grenade popping out of a grenade launcher. You know that little boom, right? That mm -hmm. you hear it outside this window. You, and you alone, have a moment to react to that. How do you do so? And we're talking split second, i.e., you know, what is your immediate thought as, here, as soon as you hear, hear that pop? Uh, first thought, stand up. Since she's in the way, I'll grab Butterfly and try and get towards the center of the apartment and just shout grenade. Okay, so uh, uh, if you're grabbing Butterfly, there'll be no resistance, but you would only be at half your movement. Yeah. So, so that would you. Us about here. One, I'll put two, her right there then. Yeah. There we go. And on that note, popping through the window here, you guys see. A grenade and smoke starts pouring into the room obscuring everything in that circle everybody roll well uh hold on whoops
I need to actually put you in the combat tracker. Now everybody roll me initiative. <laughs> Spoke too soon. <laughs> uh, okay. Major brain fart. Where's yes, sir. Uh, if you go to uh, the combat tracker, you will see um, uh, a dice next to oh, your name. Right. All right. And the first thing that happens that you guys notice. Whoops. Uh, well, you don't notice. You got because of the smoke, and that was kind of the point. But you hear two more. Uh, oh, sorry. You uh, you hear two more simultaneous crashes. Uh, uh, coming through the windows right next to you guys. And... Uh, you are, uh, going to get an evasion check, Banshee, but you are at a minus five penalty... And, uh, hold on. Actually, is, is it a minus five? Give me a second. Let me, um... Not looking good, regardless. Uh, no, it's minus four for smoke slash darkness. Uh, but you can actually, if you when you go to your roll, there's a little drop-down arrow now. Uh, it's one of the newer features, uh, that we haven't had a chance to play around with yet. And you see, uh, where it says show core situational modifiers... You click that, and then you can see right at the bottom there's smoke darkness. You just click that. It's a minus four, and it'll automatically add uh, certain situational modifiers. So, like, you, we've got night, no light. Taking extra time gives you plus one. Complementary skill gives you a plus. So, so there are there are uh, pre pre generated situational modifiers, both bonuses and negatives that you can uh, cl click to add to your. Uh, uh, rolls. Let's cool. do. And Oof. that is a uh, um, take ten IP for your critical failure on that. Uh, that was supposed to be an evasion check, but it's. I mean, it's. Oh, it's. I, it's, I did a shit. I mean, it doesn't really matter. It was a crit fail. Yeah. I don't think it doesn't really matter. And so you get hit with uh, some kind of a melee weapon. You're not sure uh, what it is. Uh, even even being a melee weapon, your armor stopped all the damage. But unfortunately, he gets another attack. But you do get a second evasion roll as well. See if I won't spill my drink. <laughs> Priorities. <laughs> Number you want to beat is 15. That is not a 15, so... That's not going to happen. And this time, I do think it will penetrate the armor a little bit. Yes, it does. You take two damage. And uh, that is... That guy's turn. Next is Lovelace. You just saw a smoke grenade uh, fill up Yamspurt's living room. So is this uh, um, right here, is this a wall or like yep. a table? 
I'm pretty sure I made it a wall. Yes, I did. It. I. I. Uh. uh well, no. It, well, it's like a pass through, you know, where it just ha kind of has the the open thing. So like, it's a half wall. Okay, that's what I was wondering. Is what I could see in all of this if I had a good view of the living room, or if it was just smoke pouring out of the doorway. Yes, and you could make like an athletics check to just like jump over it or whatever. I'm gonna do that. I want to get near the window since that's where the grenade came through. Presumably, that's where enemies are coming through, even if I can't see anything. So I'm gonna do my athletics roll. For the oh, record, cool. this it ducking down behind this also provides cover, right? So okay. Rem keep in mind this is a uh, yeah seventeen is good enough for you to go ahead and clear that right there, and then you still have your movement. I'm gonna. Do I have to jump over the couch, or can I? Just yeah, that walk? would be another athletics check. If you don't want to <laughs> go around it, <laughs> I'll go around it. Um, here, here is as far as I can go. All right, excellent. Next is This uh, security officer runs in. You can see him, Lovelace. He would have come in right on your ass if you hadn't moved. And uh, he has cover from the front from whatever fixture this is in Yam's house. But uh, he has an open shot on you. But he did take a double move to come in. So no shots being taken this turn. Uh, okay, next is another dude coming in, same thing. He's going to come in. He can. He doesn't have a shot at anybody uh, until he gets on the other side of the smoke. But So he needs a double move to be able to see Lovelace as well. So same thing, two guys just came in and stacked up on this fixture. And it is Yam's turn. You all, so far, all you know is uh, uh, you heard somebody shout grenade in your living room. Well, Legion. Well, you would recognize well, that it was Legion's voice. Well, it looks like I can see the smoke from where, I, where I'm sitting with the door open. I'm sorry, say that again? No. It, from where, it looks like I can see the smoke from inside yes, the room. Yes, you could see this. You can see the smoke just like barely around that corner. Uh, you are inside the room, and yes, of course, uh, the you know the doors are 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 kind of well made, but you know, so yeah, you would see just a just the hint of the smoke coming through. You would, in that's order to really fine. see it, would at least have to get one more square through that doorway, and wow, yeah, that's a lot of smoke, you would see. And I would have heard the, the glass shattering, correct? Yes, the, the, the sound of breaking glass, and definitely, there, there, so you okay, heard cool. one small glass shatter, and then two large simultaneous glass shatters. Right, and then, then you... oh, uh, you, uh, oh, yeah, yeah, sorry, no, nothing was heard from that other, never, I, I'm, I'm, never mind. No, go ahead, continue your sentence. Nope, nothing, nothing. <laughs> yeah, <he's down. laughs> um, then Yam is going to use his internal agent to call down the front desk and, uh, to follow whatever security protocols they have to, for, like, a break-in. Uh, okay, yes, um... So they will call NCPD and uh, 
uh, they will be here as soon as possible. Uh, well, now, I'll of course, Legion, have, Legion have... would know that uh, the response time for the executive zone is much better than the response time in a lot of other places. But there is will, still will, a will... response time. I would also specify that I do have an officer here um, and give them Legion's information. Or okay. give the front office Legion information. So, like, hey, one of their boys is here. Maybe they'll go a little bit faster, hopefully. You, uh, don't, know, you don't know if that would speed up or slow down the uh, response. Uh, I don't, <laughs> but I, I feel like Legion's been doing some good work lately. So, um, is that an action? Uh, is what an action? Doing all that. Uh, you have the internal agent? Correct. Then you would have been able to do that while you're doing whatever else you're doing. Okay, cool. That is super awesome, because I'm coming out hot with my, uh, hand, uh, uh, gun. There is cover right here. I, I know, I'll try moving in more. Crap, what's my move? And give me a perception check when you uh, hit that spot. Absolutely. Yes, that does not beat the DV, unfortunately. You do not notice anything in particular out of sorts, other than what you've already noticed. Yes, I am heavily, heavily metaing around, or, or, or uh, hinting around that stealth skill that uh, uh, Heather in the chat just popped out uh, re reacting to. Um, yes, you did not beat that DV. Fair. Um... There's a stealthy ass motherfucker in your apartment, but you don't know it yet. <laughs> That's fine. I don't see one, so I'm just gonna do a double move. You would go in there. Well, I mean, I keep my like my gear in here, so I'm going for my shotgun. Okay, you see that this bedroom window is wide open. I keep that thing bolted. What the fuck? Yes, you do. Uh, double move. That's that's my turn. Okay. Uh, next is this guy who is. Uh, Frizz is sitting in front of her. Uh, now, let me ask, does anybody have the, the low-light UV blah blah blah, the thing that lets you see when you're in uh, a smoke? For example, does Banshee or Legion or uh, uh, Lovelace have any of those in their cyber eyes? I don't have any cyber eyes. I've got uh, low-light and infrared. So you can actually see through the smoke. You're seeing everything that's happening. Right. And <laughs> um... The uh, this this security operative sees a computer on the table, grabs it right out in front of Fritz, and then just s repels out of the window because he's still connected to his rope, and then just starts dropping down to the ground floor. And that is what he does. He just starts rappelling down after fucking uh, ganking Frizz's laptop. And now it is Frizz's turn, who uh, is still in the smoke and did not see that happening. And so she's just uh, uh, going to come out of the smoke. And then, uh, but she did not, uh, I'll give her a perception to check to see if she catches that dude flying out the window with her laptop. Yeah, no, not so much. She's just, like, got smoke in her face and is trying to get out of it. Uh, and she kind of comes to the corner, but does notice that there is a broken-ass window right here. He's probably still sauced, right? Uh, Frizz is a little... Yeah, she is still fucking drunk. Yes, that is correct. 
Uh, Butterfly, in the middle of the smoke, is kind of just following Legion's lead. So she's just letting you uh, uh, move her where you want to move her. But, uh, so that means you have your full movement because she's no longer, like, confused, unreactive. She's no longer being dragged. She's being led, right? Right. So that is what her action is. So you still have you still have your full movement now. Right. Okay, okay. next is um Yam. Uh actually whoops, well ah fuck, I already made him visible. But I need you to make a second perception check to see if you notice the uh, the security agent outside the window still attached to a harness. Okay, so... Um, un take another 10 IP for that uh, critical failure, and his 10 stealth does be uh, continue to beat that 3. So you do not see the security officer outside your window... Uh, 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 and you also don't see something else. <laughs> uh, and it is Legion's turn. So I'm gonna yell over to Frizz to cut the rope. One of the guys just nicked your computer. And then okay. I'm gonna move straight down and hit this guy with my uh, dose of the blue glass. With my uh, hair you, uh, okay, so I need you to make first a brawling check. Right. Brawling. Versus brawling. his evasion. Yep. Oof. Uh, yeah, but it still hey. beats a 14, so you hit, so that means he now needs to make a resist torture drugs DV what? What's the DV on blue glass? Uh, let's see. Blue glass. That's a DV-15. All right. Let's see if he manages to shake it off. Oh, Ooh. that crit success, and he is very resistant to those drugs and uh, feels no ill effects, unfortunately. And that was your turn. Next is Banshee. You cannot, unlike the uh, the cop in the room, see in uh, inside smoke grenades. So, uh, but you did feel somebody hit you. Do I have a vague idea of where I've been hit, uh, or, or rather, where the blow came from? Yes, and so that would be you'd have that minus four penalty for trying to swing at him. He doesn't have said penalty because these guys all got fucking UV eyes. That's, you know. <laughs> uh, so he, you've got to beat a DV-15. You need a 16 or better to succeed at hitting him. Or are you trying to shoot? I'll just... I'll fire two shots into what I think is his direction. Okay, you're still at the minus four. So, he doesn't have an evasion, it's just the DV. Because these guys cannot dodge bullets. This one can't, anyway. And that is a miss, but you have a second shot with that heavy pistol. Here we go. Oh, take 10 IP for that crit success. Nice. And roll some damage. Ah, boy. All right. And these guys have bulletproof shields, and that is why uh, none of that made it, th it made it even to his armor. Uh, his bulletproof shield only has one hit point left. All right, next is uh, Limbo, who is very, very confused, and like he's just going to set his laptop down on the bed and like look out and be like, uh, and peek out of the the here. Let's see, 
and he's trying to get to the point where he can see Yam, and he's like, um, uh, oh, that would give him a perception check as he's saying, what's going on, boss? Back in the room! Uh, <laughs> okay. And his perception was a crit fail, so he hears get back in the room, and so is going to take a double move and go and get back in the room and just go literally all the way back to where he just was. The end. Next is, all right, this guy heard you say cut the rope, and so he is going to um, come over here uh, uh, and interfere with that plan and get in between uh, his buddy who just repelled and Frizz and is going to do a shove maneuver to just push her down uh, 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 on t push her down to the ground. Like out of the window? No, no, to, no, not oh, okay. push her out right. the window. Wow. Ooh, just push her down to the ground of the kitchen so she can't cut his buddy's rope like she was just told to do. No, that's okay, that's fair. I was like, well, <laughs> <laughs> And then, so that's an opposed brawling from Frizz, who is drunk. Uh, oh no, sorry, it's an evasion. No, it, it wait, no, it is opposed brawling. I apologize. And then, because she's drunk, she has penalty. Penalty. Uh, oh man, she fails by one. Oh, being drunk actually did. Uh, make it so she just gets knocked over she just gets pushed back down slightly in or no whoop, not that far uh back into the uh uh smoke and is knocked prone she would have to use the get up action to get up unlike D, &D ladies and gentlemen getting up from prone is an action and is not half your movement it's rough uh, okay, so that was Security Officer 2's turn. Next is uh, Lovelace. You couldn't yes, really so. see any of that going down because there's a huge smoke patch in the way, but you oh. do see these guys over here. Okay, so I'm going to take aim at this one and use my crossbow with a sleep arrow in it right now. Okay. So we'll see how that goes. Oh. That is a miss. Okay. And that is a rate of fire of one, so you are... Uh, are you moving? Uh, I... No, I'm waiting for the smoke to clear to make my next move. Oh, Just that's going to be... It, it, it lasts for a full minute. Oh, that's God. Okay. 20 rounds. Well, I'll come over here to get the best shot I can to support Legion and Butterfly. Well, stay out of the smoke. Uh, okay. Next is this guy who was the breacher at the door uh, follows in and comes in behind you, Legion. So uh, he is going to be um, actually, he's just going to come in and he's just gonna take a shot at you. He doesn't care about, uh, these guys don't care about non-lethal damage in this case. So. Right. Oh, he misses on that auto fire by one. <laughs> All right, next is this guy who is going to come over here to take better aim at you, Legion, since you are making yourself the apparent threat. Oh, shit, I did not mean to click aim. My bad, unclick aim. Try that again. 
All right, still misses, but... Yep. Uh, okay, it is this guy's turn. <clears throat> Give me another perception check, Yam. Absolutely. Let's go, baby. Hey. Double hey. great. Let's get it. You noticed this guy run right past you being well uh move right past you being stealthy as fuck and he is able to get all the way into the next room where you told uh uh limbo to go you do also notice the guy out the window so there's a guy out the window and a dude who just ran past you. Uh, the guy out the window. What is he? Does he have a weapon in his hand? Is he just like yes, hanging he, out? He, he's he's geared out like 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 a uh, uh, security operative sh uh, would uh, would appear to be. Uh, this this appears to be a raid, a snatch and grab of some kind. Uh, um, you would assume because. Uh, they, they 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 made a big fuss over here, and then somebody snuck in through the bedroom and is going for something. And the guy the the, the guy is attached to a harness outside. Good for him. I, I hope he's living his best life. <laughs> Uh huh. So what? Um. Uh. Whoops. That brings us to. Uh, the security officer that you. Uh, assaulted is going to fight back. Uh, Legion, I need an uh, evasion check, please. You got it. Let's see. Evasion. There we go. DV14 here. Right. You beat it. Yep. Uh, okay. Next is... Oh, wait. Whoops. He had a second roll. I forgot. I'm about to say. <laughs> uh, da, 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 da. There we go. And yeah. Oh! Ty goes to the defender! You beat yeah. it. Nice. All right, now it is Yam's turn. What is Yam doing? Uh, well, no time for the shotgun. I'm following the guy that's trying to be stealthy. All right, give me a second. Don't move. This guy had a ready to action. From outside of the window. He takes a shot at you. And he hits. Ouch. Fucking hell. Six makes it through your armor. Now you can do what you were going to do. Uh, I'm mad. I am going to shoot this uh, intruder. I'm also going to yell, take someone alive, I'll pay. Gonna throw some luck in. Excellent. All right. Nine of that makes it through uh, the ninja's armor. Fuck it, ninja. Uh, get out of my apartment. Leave my shit alone. <laughs> uh, That's my excellent. Turn. Thank you. Next is... Uh, the security officer that's rappelling down is going to make it, uh, or sorry, uh, 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 yeah, is going to make it to the uh, ground floor with Frizz's laptop. 
and make it out of the uh, scene with said data. Um, Butterfly is uh, still just kind of waiting for Legion to... Uh, she, she, she's gonna get out of the smoke since Legion did let go of her and went to go fight that guy, uh, or, or blue glass him. She's gonna get out of the smoke and get over here to this chair up against the wall. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, she would take she cover behind the couch. <laughs> yeah, take cover behind the couch is what she will do. Uh, and then next is we have, uh, the other security officer. This one is going to... Uh, follow you back inside, Yam, uh, uh, and, and, uh, take his shot at you. Whoops. Uh, sorry, that was an incorrect, uh, 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 several modifiers were off. Let me fix that. Well, okay. Try that again. There we go. Uh, can you dodge bullets? Only in my dreams. Okay, so that is going to hit. And, hey, we didn't get two sixes, but that's a lot of damage. Uh, Yam, 12 makes it through your armor. I'm sorry, who exactly shot me? The guy from outside the window? Yeah, he came inside the window and shot you. Fucking... Legion, you're up. Probably just... You have heard gunshots down the hallway, and from your position, you can see they they hit Yam. <laughs> Yam is in shit. In the shit, excuse me. And has already received a speed heal on this 24-hour period. Oh, he has <laughs> shit. And then took damage from a, a whiskey bottle. <laughs> yep. After yeah, some, well, had, after a little bit of damage funny. from a whiskey bottle, he he got a speed heal, and now he cannot receive another one until tomorrow. All right, I'm gonna try and hit him with blue glass again. Uh, okay. That was a brawling check. He said it was a brawling check to try and actually hit him with the. Uh, um, yeah. Uh, with the with the air hypo. Yep, and I'm gonna throw some luck behind that. All right. Well, he only got a ten, so you got to go. Oh, Ooh. take ten IP for that critical success, and that is oh, a yeah. hit. So uh, his resist torture drugs check you said was a DV fifteen. Correct. Damn. He beats it by one. However, I'm going to say that he does have a penalty on future rolls. I will, I will, uh, uh, just especially because we have these abilities to add the, the modifiers on the fly, the, mm -hmm. uh, um, I, I'm going to add some negative modifiers to his future rolls if you continue to dose it. Cool. Okay. Uh, but that was your action. You still have move if you want. Are you, uh... I'm going to stay right where I'm at. <laughs> okay, Banshee, you are up. You are still in the smoke. Well, uh, I'm going to try and get out. My way around. You do not know this apartment very well, but you do know vaguely where the table you were sitting at is, but it would be very easy to accidentally bump into it. Give me a perception check. You are at a minus four penalty on this check because of the smoke. Yeah. Yeah, you do not see the table. You run right into it, and uh, uh, but uh, you still have more movement. But you're like, you're like, oh shit! I just crashed into the table, and you still have an action, so you could do more movement. But like, so what are you doing after just running into the table? Uh, I'll just roll across and keep moving. Okay, give me an athletics check.
It's also at a minus? No. Uh, okay. You, like, in your head, this was such a cool move, but you are, like, rolling, flopping, knocking glasses and dishes over and food, and you get to the other side just covered in the yam spurts' dinner. But you still have the rest of your... Uh, you do manage to get out of the smoke and have the rest of your uh, movement and or in action. You've only used two squares of movement because of the athletics check. I'm not counting that as movement. Okay. I will position myself here. And I'm just... Uh, ask ask your question as soon as Banshee finishes describing his action. Do I see this guy over by the window? No. Uh, no. the The cloud of smoke is in between you and him. I'm going to ready my pistol for the first uh, opponent I see come through that smoke. Uh, okay. You do. I would say. Mm, yeah. Nope. This guy is blocked by the smoke too from your position. Uh. Okay. Uh, so you're readying an action to take a shot at the first guy you see. Absolutely. Yep. Understood. Done deal. Next is Limbo, who is very confused, um, but he needs to make a perception check. And uh, it's still it's still the same I stealth I shot him. Beam. How does he have to make a perception? Because he's still being very stealthy. You noticed him, but Limbo has still not. I hate Limbo. <laughs> <laughs> well, Limbo rolled really well. He rolled a 20. But remember, the Sokka Ninja's uh, uh, um, uh, stealth was 23. So he is being very stealthy. I didn't even see it in the chat. I know. <laughs> How much is the remembering head? <laughs> you know what's cool is you didn't see it in the chat, but everybody saw it on Twitch, the way I've got the settings. Oh, nice. So, oh, yes. Wait, so, metagame, everyone watched the Twitch chat. All right, heard. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, so, Limbo is just, and he can't really see you yet. You're, he's, you're still blocked from his perspective. So, he, he just went in the room like you told him, and that's it. And he's just kind of waiting. Uh, next is... Uh, this guy is going to repel out and start going down. And uh, uh, cover uh, cover his buddy's retreat with with Frizz's laptop, and it is now Lovelace's turn. Super exciting turn! I'm gonna reload my crossbow and stay in place. Okay. And I'm thinking, let's just finish this round, and then we'll go to the break. And I don't mind going a little later tonight if that's uh, if that's what it takes, or if that's how it comes out. Uh, did you take your shot? Reload. I thought reloading was. An oh, action. it is an action. The crossbow. Yes, thank you. Yep, but not moving. Super exciting action vector. All right. Uh, you, firing crossbow, uh, need to be dealt with, says, uh, uh, this security officer in his head. He doesn't say anything out loud. He just turns and fires at Lovelace. Good thing I can dodge bullets. All right. Do you want to give me your, uh, 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 oh, wait, no, you cannot, you cannot see this guy. The smoke is, is blocking your view. You cannot dodge this. Oh, uh, okay. But he still misses. Very cool. Um, next is... Same thing. He, this security officer is going to uh, uh, target you. And critically fail. Ooh, badly. 
<laughs> uh, all right. This ninja. He runs up here. Um, and uses his action to grab. Um, Limbo's laptop, which does reveal himself. He is out of stealth, but the taking of the laptop and Limbo's like, what? Huh? And that is what alerts Limbo to the fact that there is another human being in this room with him. Uh, he did have a, uh, uh, he did not take an action previously, so I'm going to give him a brawling check to try and hold on to the laptop. Uh, can you roll the brawling check? It's going to be opposed, and I, you still have control of Limbo, Joe, for, for rolling purposes. Oh, cool. What am I rolling for Limbo? Brawling. DV19. Uh, you know what? He's going to use all his luck. He doesn't have any NPCs. I know. It oh. says he has luck in the stat block because that's how the character sheets look, but he does not last have luck. Time I rolled, last time I rolled for him, he had luck. Because you were playing him and you were a player character, not an NPC, so I was letting you use luck. All right. But you're right. back in Yamspurt's body again. <laughs> Ooh, can I be a Legion next? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, Limbo fails to prevent the ninja from grabbing the laptop. Now it is this security officer's turn who really does not appreciate you trying to uh, drug him against his will. He's like, you got to at least buy me dinner first. And so <laughs> he is going to... Um, he is going to try and take that air hypo out of your hand. I need an opposed brawling, or I need an evasion check from uh, Legion. Uh, is that even possible, considering that I'm not using an air hypo, but the air hypo finger? Oh, you have an air hypo finger? Yeah. Oh, then no, he can't take that away from you. That is uh, very specifically something he can't do. So instead, he is going to use his weapon and attack, try and attack the hand itself. So I need you to make okay. an evasion check. All right. Although, he is going to be at a penalty for aiming for your hand. Nice. And he does not make it. You definitely uh, managed to evade that one. He has a second uh, attack. Let's see. Oh, uh -huh. yeah. Try not to. Uh... <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Take 10 IP for that very successful evasion as you, like, neo-dodge out of the way of his attack as he tries to uh, hit your hand. And uh, next is... Yam, you are up. You've got dude who just took uh, Limbo's laptop and then uh, security officer shooting at you. And you just close the door and, like, fuck that guy. I didn't mean... I meant to walk through it, then close... Uh, oh, is closing the door an action? It, it, uh, uh, I would allow it to be part of your movement, but... Right, um, cool. Yeah. Alright, cool. Because I'm going to close it behind me, uh, and I'm yelling at Limbo, kill this motherfucker now, and then I'm going to blast him with my gun. Okay. <clears> hmm. <throat> Uh, yes, you hit. Give me damage. Nice. Let's go. All right. Eleven points makes it through his armor. Uh, I still have one more square to move. Is that okay to split it up in Cyberpunk? I forget. Nope. Okay, move action or yep no move move has to happen as that's, one yep that's okay I'm yep 
Frizz is going to take the get up action. What the hell? Come and then on. get down and get funky? <laughs> well, she got knocked down, but she is getting up again. Never gonna get me down. <laughs> um. All right, but that is her turn, and next is Butterfly, who is still just ducked down. Or, well, she she does not balk at danger to go help somebody, but she would know that Yam can't get another speed heal right now. Um. So. Oof. Now uh, she's gonna wait and react as necessary. Uh, next is this guy. You're shooting at him, so whoops! I did the same thing as you. All right, it, he is gonna have to double move to even get to a place where he can see Yam. Oh, oh, uh, security. Or, or no, he has to get to the door and move. But that is his turn, because it was a double move to get there. Now is Legion. Gee, I wonder what I'm going to do. Same shit, different day. All right. Uh, brawling check or uh, to try and hit him with your uh, air hypo. Oof. Uh, that is a 17. Low Whoops. Roll, roll, roll. I rolled your... <laughs> I rolled <laughs> your evasion, not the Sokka's. Let me roll the right person. Hey. Yeah, that is going to hit. So uh, resist torture drugs. And this time he's going to have a... Uh, mm, uh, I'm going to give him the bat, uh, bad sleep, which is a minus two penalty. Right. Effectively. Uh resist torture Yay. drugs. Uh blue glass. This guy is now fucking seeing pretty colors. That's the effect of blue glass. It's a hallucinogen. So it's ba it's essentially this world's LSD. And so yeah, he is going oh, yeah. he's going on a trip. Wait, really? Yep. <laughs> I totally misread that drug. I, if I'm not mistaken, let me double check. Let's let's go uh, get the description of Blue Glass. Can you read it for us? Yeah, sure. If I recall correctly, you are 100% correct. Yep. The GM may occasionally tell the user that they are seeing swirls of colors. When this happens, the user loses their action on a single turn. And so I'm just going to say because it's a, uh, it's a mook and not a player character... He's just losing his action every turn. Just standing there staring at the colors, moving around. Um, so that is Legion's turn, yes? You still have movement, though. And you do see that glassy look in his eyes indicating, Yep, this dose took. I, um... I'm actually gonna stay... No, actually, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna push... Uh, this security op back one space. Alright, because he's glassed, I'm not even going to make you roll for that. Yeah. And I'm going to move to kind of cover him uh, so that these two security ops don't try and kill their uh, comrade. Okay. And I will end my turn with that. All right, Banshee, you are up. Okay. Damn, I should have done that. Oh, well. Nobody can from the smoke. Um, you can say this is a half wall? Uh, yeah, it's like one of those pass-through kind of, uh, yeah. Hmm. Sorry. Oh, no, 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 this, this, over it. this, this is the pass-through half wall. This, that's just a threshold that looks pretty. So, yes, you can walk okay. through here. Make my way over there, then. You do have to go around the couch or athletics over it. Yeah. Tokens. Oh, 
that I'm here, am I able to see this fool? Yes, you can see him. Okay, two shots with my handy dandy pistol. And you, uh, you hit. Give me some damage. Oof. Very, very low on the damage roll. You have a second shot, though. Here we go. Much better. Hey. And give me damage again. Better on the damage roll. Still not crazy awesome, but it's 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 not a really really uh, powerful pistol. You do not penetrate the armor. Ten. All okay, right. My turn. Next is Limbo, uh, who you told him to attack, so he's gonna go ahead and shoot. Uh, go ahead and do the roll for me, uh, Yam, since you've got the ability. Go ahead and take whatever shots you want uh, uh, as Limbo. I have the power. Alright, so he's going to pull out his medium pistol and get two shots off. That will hit. Roll damage. Nice. Ooh. <laughs> Bro. Sorry. You shot. have a second shot. And that's just going to miss. I hate Lebeau. <laughs> I hate yourself. You rolled the two. Hey, at least it wasn't a one. True. All right. And with that, we are at the top of the round, and this seems like a good place to take our 10-minute break. It is 8.15 by my clock, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to come back at 8.25 and then finish this fight. That's what she said. I guess it works here. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are back with Cyber Knight. So let's get right back into the action. We've already completed three rounds of combat as these Arasaka uh, security operatives and one ninja seem to be very intent on taking things from Yamspurt's apartment. And uh, it is this security officer's turn uh which one? Oh, yeah oh that one yes he's gonna finish repelling down and he actually vamooses out of uh uh the picture with his buddy and next is lovelace lovelace you are up go ahead and give me uh what, what are you doing i'm gonna hit this guy with the crossbow. Okay. I'm trying to get that money from Yam for taking one of them alive. So let's spend some luck on that too. Yo, let's go. Oh, didn't need it. Oh, nice. That is a hit. So it's a DV, what, 13 for him to beat the. Uh... Uh, uh, resist torture drugs, yes? Correct. That is going to beat it. He is not, uh, he is not knocked out by the sleep arrow. And okay, next... that's my turn. Next is this security officer who is still going to just shoot at you through the smoke. And misses. And same for this guy. Uh, 
Ooh, that is a crit success on that one. Le are you able to dodge bullets? Yes, you are. So give me if you're going to try. Oh, no, you can't. You can't see through the smoke. We already established that. Sorry. Yeah. And I got two Ooh. sixes. Y'all know what that oh, means. No. In addition to uh, the damage that you take. Uh, 17 makes it through your armor, and you are going to get a random critical injury. Broken leg. Your leg is knocked out. You are, uh, brought down to the ground and have a minus four penalty your movement to a minimum of one. You, um, yeah, uh, so, um, Lovelace is now only able to crawl. All right, next is Arasaka Ninja, who has, um, uh... He's too scared to move? Oh, wow, Dave, that's awesome. <laughs> no nope. Great storytelling. He is running right past Yam with the, uh, uh, with the laptop and, uh, double moving back towards the window he came in through. I thought you couldn't move through and oh no I'm not blocking all the door never mind. And it's an ally that is on the other side. Yep. Which means you have to get that guy out of the way but he didn't. And he's a ninja. <laughs> I mean, he, the ninja's doing ninja shit. Um, next is, uh, this guy is just kind of, I'm just going to go ahead and take him out of combat effectively because he is effectively uh, a non-combatant for the duration of, what is the, what is the duration of blue glasses effects? Four hours. Okay, yeah, so for four hours, this dude is just like, Look at the pretty colors. Um, <laughs> making it Yam Spurts' turn. Alright, I'm moving like strap on this guy, and I'm blasting him in the... I'm, I'm aiming for his head. You are aiming for the head? Okay. Oh, that brings me to a um, uh, uh, new house rule that I picked up from um, the game that I play in on Monday nights. The GM is is uh, playing with a new house rule, and I really like it. And that is on a normal shot. If you beat the DV by eight or more, you will you may declare it an aimed shot after the roll. Cool. So that way we kind of get a few more uh, awesome headshots in here cinematically. Uh, um, so we're, we're going to treat if you beat it by, if you beat the DV by eight or more, that's the rule, beat it by eight or more, and then you can retroactively declare it a named shot. Okay. Well, I want that ninja. So I'm walking up in the sky, both hands on my pistol, aiming right for his face. Make sure you take the aim and you miss. You have a second shot. Are you gonna aim no, on the I, second one? I only have one shot. Oh, yeah, it's yeah, very it's heavy. Very you're right. Heavy. Yep. Single shot. Uh, okay. Uh, so that's your turn. And yes, this guy, he he is uh, blocking your way. So you got to get past him. And next is I'm gonna take Frizz out of combat as well, because uh, she is effectively a non-combatant now. Butterfly, I'm going to take her out of combat as well. She's effectively a non-combatant now. Um, and then uh, this security officer. Um, uh, is coming right back at you with, uh, I need evasion check, Yam. Because he is swinging at you with the melee weapon. He is trying to physically stop you from interfering. Uh, 16, okay. Uh, that beats my 15. You succeed in evading that first roll. Give me a second evasion check. Four. 
13. Unfortunately, that does not successfully evade, and you are going to take some melee damage here. Not very much, though. Two makes it through your armor. Next is Legion. So seeing the ninja come out when I didn't see him go in, I'm going to prioritize him. Close that distance. And pop him with my dark gun. Okay. Let's see. Am I using regular arrows? Uh, yes, okay. All right. Hold on. Don't give me damage yet. Right. The ninja can dodge bullets, and he does. All right. What's your rate of fire on the dart gun? Just one. Okay. That is your turn, then. Banshee, what's up? You know what? It's time to get reckless. <clears throat> I'm going to go up to this bad, this ninja, mm -hmm. and I'm going to attempt to bash him over the head with my guitar. Go for it. Uh, melee weapons check yep. for that? Yep. Yep. All right. We're on two luck for this. Okay. Nice. No, that was my evasion check. Ah. Uh, still a nice roll. <laughs> yes, but unfortunately, a, uh, the ninja evades. Go ahead and give me your second. You get two uh, swings with that. All right. All right. That's a 13 I got to beat. Correct. And I do. Then's my turn. Yep. All right. Next is Limbo, who uh, he can get this far. And, uh, well, actually, no, he can get that far and be attacking this guy with you. Go ahead and make your rolls, whatever, however he, he would attack. He can't shoot the ninja? Yeah, he can. I'm, I'm telling you to make the roll. Thank you. Nice. All right, so I've got a 24 evasion to beat. If you hit, that's nine over and would be able to declare it. Uh, uh, well, it depends on his evasion. Hold on. Uh, you still hit, but you do not get the free headshot because it is not eight over his evasion. So, but you still hit. Okay. All right, and five points. Nothing gets through the armor. All right, second shot. Ooh. 14 just misses. All right, Thanks, top of the round, Lovelace. You are prone and crawling and have a broken leg because a bullet went through it. Right through your bone, right through the bone. Yeah. I'm sure that feels lovely. Is Butterfly available to help me with that? Can yes, actually. You could crawl to her, and then uh, because I took her out of combat, I'll just do her uh, her paramedics check on you. And that can be your turn, her doing the paramedics check on you. That you would have to make a double perfect. move. You have to make a double move, though, to get to her. Oh, okay. So this tu this turn is me moving to her. Next turn is her doing a paramedics. No, I'm check. I'm gonna do her paramedics check now. But you have another square to move. Oh, I got you. My bad. Yeah. Uh, 
the badass paramedic that is Butterfly Ooh, definitely yeah. hits that DV to repair your uh, um, broken leg. And uh, so go ahead and remove the broken leg. You will still have to use your next action to get up if you're getting up. Sounds but good. You can remove the broken leg. She, she splints it for you. And uh, you are able to do that. All right, next is this security officer who, um, like Legion, was afraid of. They don't want to leave behind witnesses. And he is shooting at his own friend. For oh, none of it makes it through. Uh, oh yeah, because this guy still had a bulletproof shield. He never took any damage to it. <laughs> um, I, I should actually um adjust that. Uh, let me see. Uh, well, still none of it would have made it through. The armor. Five, oh, five would it? Yeah, so he shouldn't have have had the bulletproof shield. Five hit points would have made it through his armor. Okay. Oh I don't know. I can see him slumped over with a shield in front of him, just instinctively. No, because it actually <laughs> one of the rules is you have to position the shield in front of yourself. Ah, uh, okay, that makes sense. Not Ooh, just no. just having it; it's not floating in front of you. Boo! Bring back magic items. <laughs> uh, all right. Next is this security officer. Same thing. Leave no witnesses. He's gonna they are that. willing. They are willing to take down their. This is Arasaka. They're willing to take down their own people to fucking get the mission done. And Ooh, uh, missed by one. All right. Next is Arasaka Ninja, who is. It is a double move for him to get to the window and start attaching himself to his repelling gear. All right, Yam, you're up. Stop a... that fucking ninja now! Is what I scream. Um, and what? Do, how, how do I? This motherfucker's in my way. Yes, he is. I, I'm, I'm just you gonna could, blast him. You could blast him, or you could try and like push him out of the way, or something with an uh, with a with a brawling check of some no, kind. No, no, no. Banshee and Legion are there. Okay. They, they have to stop him. Oh, oh, hold on. Can I, like, attempt to, like, grapple him so uh, Limbo can get past? Uh, yeah, you could. That's what I'm. That's kind of what I was getting okay. at. Okay, yeah, yeah. I, I, I want to spend my turn distracting him so Limbo can get past. So what do uh, I have to roll for that? Uh, give, uh, well, depends on how are you trying to distract him. You tell me what you're doing, and I'll set a DV. Well, actually, I'll, I'll, it'll be an opposed roll, whatever he has to roll against what you're doing. I'm going for the groin. No, what <laughs> I... Well, I'm, well, I was trying to imply that you could use other skills, not just brawling. Brawling is an option, but you could also use other skills at your disposal that you are maybe better at. But you tell me what you're doing, and I'll, I'll, I'll figure out a DV on it. Um, I didn't build the end for combat. That's the skills. point I'm trying to make. I, um, <laughs> you can just go with the brawling, but you have other options. You just got to tell me what you're doing and how you're doing it. I want, uh, I want to interrogate him. I want to start like, yo, listen, Yam here. I work for this company. I know you were for Osaka. And just start, like, bringing this guy with questions and, like... All right, give me an interrogation check. Yeah. Ooh. So, uh, that, that's, that, that's not very effective, but at least you get 10 IP. 
and that's your turn. Uh, next is him, who is going to show you how not very effective it was. I need an evasion check from you. All right, you critically Ooh. succeed on your evasion. Take 10 IP for that and give me a second one because he has two swings. All right, you do not evade the second attack and are going to take... Probably not very much. I don't think this is going to get through your armor. No, one damage gets through your armor. Your armor's taking a beating, I think. Uh, next is Legion. Legion, you are up. What are you doing? Ooh. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to go after the ninja. Thank you. Do I have one more mother? Hey. No. Uh, okay, no. And I'm going to try and take another shot with my dark gun. All right. All right. Give me a second because. Yep. He still has the ability to dodge bullets and is going to attempt to do so. And he does. He beats your DV by one, unfortunately. Banshee, you're up. Right. Chasing down the ninja. I'm going to bolt into this room. Um, What exactly do I see in here? You see a ninja starting to try and hook himself up to a repelling rig and go out the window again the way they came in. They came in through I the would, roof and they're repelling down to the ground. I would like to try and shoot the rope. Uh, that would be an aimed shot, so make sure you click aim shot. But uh, yeah. target him because that would be the range for the DV. But instead okay. of dealing damage to him, you're trying to shoot the rope. Yep. I will not give him an evasion check, though, because he is not the rope. But make sure you click aim shot. Yeah, I have. And you miss by four. Uh, you have a second shot. I'm just trying to shoot him. All right, he does get to try and evade that because you were shooting him. Uh, and he successfully evades. Ninja gonna ninja. It is Limbo's turn, and Limbo's gonna try and uh, uh, grab uh, the the security operative, like you did. Or well, you tried to talk him out of it. He's gonna just try and grab. So uh, evasion check or brawling check from Limbo. Crit success. So that's an 18, DV 18, that the security officer has to beat in an opposed brawling check. And he does not beat it. So Limbo grabs the guy and says, I got him, boss. You you go on ahead. And so uh, Limbo is now holding the guy so that Yam can move past. Lovelace, you're up. And you would have to use your action to get up, but you still have movement after that. And okay, go ahead and I remove, will... remove prone from your. You, you know how to. You know how to remove conditions. Yes. So I stand up and you know walk over 
here. All right. And did you remove the critical injury? You accidentally assigned it to a security officer. Did so I? I did not have to remove it. Oh, of course I did. Yeah. Oh, well. I was clicked on the wrong person. I was probably clicked on the person who shot you. I think so. Yep. I t I'm taking it off of him. Thank you for cl uh, uh, calling that out. Uh, okay. Absolutely. Uh, that is Lovelace's turn, and next is these guys are still trying to shoot their buddy. Bad friends. Well, they're not friends. They're employees. Not everybody Bad does business the way Yamspurts does. <laughs> Man. I am just not shooting well. Or that guy's tripping way too hard. Yeah, I know, <laughs> right? Did you get some more of that? Actually, yes. That's a critical failure. So that Let's one misses. Go. All right, Ninja. He is going to attach himself to the uh, the rigging and jump out the window. He is still beginning to rappel down. That is his movement. But uh, 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 you basically have until he manages to get off screen to still take shots at him from the window, unless you're gonna try and like you know what? dive out the window after him or something. What floor are we on? Uh, you guys, uh, I, I believe Yam answered this before. You were kind of high up there, right? 69th, if I remember correctly. 69th floor. Yeah, That's these guys. Yes. The way Dave explained it is every floor is its own uh, personal level, so I think 69, not knowing that. See. Yeah. So, they're, they are repelling down quite, and, 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 and these are uh, these are cybernetic repelling devices, right? These are not, uh, like, this isn't old ranger school, right, going down, right? They, they are um, uh, basically um, portable winches. That they are using attack on, attack on Titan ship. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so uh, it is only still going to take a turn for him to get down to the floor. They're going pretty fast, and then the winch will slow them their descent right at the end. Uh, and it is your turn, Yam. And Limbo has made it so that you can get past this guy by grabbing him. I love how every Lock time in. you say you hate window, he does something really good for you. <laughs> Not right. Uh, as of right now, the Arasaka Ninja is below your sight line. You would not be able to shoot him from there. Just so you know. Okay. Uh, give me one second to look at my gear. Oh, I see why I'm missing with these guys. Because it's storytelling. No, I did actually fuck up. Uh, I I, I um, uh, forgot to adjust their uh, their shoulder arms. Uh, um, mods. They were only getting their. Uh, they were only getting their. Um, they were only getting their stats. They weren't getting any uh, uh, skill points towards it. Ah. Oh, no. All right, well, if I can't see the ninja, then I'm just going to turn at the, the guy that Limbo's holding and tell Limbo, we have to take this motherfucker alive. Legion, Banshee, cut that fucking rope, please. That's it's not a rope. It is a steel cable. I want to be very clear here. No. Yet. But that seal cable. And then I'm going to shoot this guy. Alright. And you miss. And next is. Whoops. Uh, next is him. He is going to make a grapple check to try and uh, get away from. Go ahead and give me uh, a brawling from Limbo, please.
Brawling from Limbo, yeah. Sorry. All right, the security officer manages to throw uh, uh, Limbo off of him, but that is his action. His movement, though, is to try and get over here uh, and is going to take a shot at you, EM. Bad form. He should miss. Should he? Yeah, what do you think? Are you able to dodge bullets? In my dreams. Um, I think that whoops. misses. No, yeah, except I, I just clicked the Shortler arm skill. I didn't quick his, click his weapon. I, that was a misclick. I didn't attack. I, I, I didn't actually do an attack roll. I just clicked the skill by mistake. Uh-huh. But that That's is a critical better. failure. And uh, he misses. And it is Legion's turn. Legion, the Arasaka Ninja, is currently below your sight line. Yep. Would I be able to move fast enough to switch weapons and fire if I pass some sort of check? If you drop the weapon you're holding, you can pull out the other weapon. Okay. In that case, that is exactly what I will do. And I will switch to my microwaver. Okay. Nice. What? Yeah. No, what? The microwaver. The microwaver. It's a pretty cool. Oh, gun. Fallout? <laughs> Similarly. And I will grab a hold of the cable and aim along the uh, wire to try and fry the winch that he's using All to right. descend. Ah! Okay, so, um... Interesting. Okay. Yes, this would potentially work. Um, uh... He has to... The, the ninja has to make a cyber tech check against it. DV-15, or the winch itself fries and his descent stops. Nice. That's hey, that's what it... And this guy does not have anything in cyber tech. He is not built in any way to, uh, to do this. He is going to fail that DV. The winch yes. just stops. He is midway down the... Um, uh, 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 he, like, like he can, he, he, he cannot continue descending. So he, he dies like Gwen Stacy from the, uh, real life, uh, physics? I, no, no. The winch just stops. Yeah. The, Legion the, didn't the, fry the, him. Le Legion fried the cyber tech that he was using to get down. Yeah. And, and the whiplash breaks his spine and he dies. Like no. Gwen Stacy, right? No. No. <laughs> That's not how this works. One. I appreciate your uh, your 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 thought process, but no, it's not that sudden of a of a stop. Uh, uh, Banshee, so you're upset. up. But I am basically forcing him to either drop to his death or submit to capture. Mm -hmm. Well, he's about to fall to his death anyway. As I'm going to make my way over to the window. And press the barrel of my gun to that steel cable. All right. And blow it in half. Uh, this is not going to be. Uh, uh, okay, yeah. Go ahead and uh, tar just target the ninja uh, to set your DV. And this is still an aim shot, so minus eight. Make sure you click aim. Even though it's my barrel's pressed right against it. It is still an aim shot for the for these circumstances. I'm burning four luck on this. All right, that is going to miss. You do not get uh, the the barrel lined up perfectly to cut the cable. All right, next is Limbo. Limbo um, is going to shoot at the guy who is shooting at his boss. Oh, you have, uh, you oh, have yeah. a second shot, right? Sorry. 
Yeah. Take your shots, second yes. shot. Take your second shot. My my bad. I will. You know what? I'll just aim at the ninja. Can't really dodge when he's in. No, he can't suspended. dodge. He can't dodge. That is correct. Circumstances do not allow him to dodge bullets. Get F. And that will hit. It is six over, so you don't get to auto do the he headshot, but give me some damage. All right. The ninja takes four points of damage after uh, armor absorbs some stuff. And now it is Limbo's turn to take a shot at uh, um, the, uh, the uh, other guy. And he crits, and he's like, wait a minute, you said keep him alive as he crits and accidentally shoots this guy in the head, because <laughs> look at that fucking, uh, yeah. uh, that's fine, roll. Uh, but the uh, security officer's head armor takes all of it. Yep, and, of course, because Lubo is great like that. <laughs> and then he's going to take another shot and still hit, but not uh, eight over, not quite eight over. So not an auto head shot, just normal damage here. And I don't think any of that's going to make it through the armor. Yeah, none of it makes it through the armor. Uh, Lovelace, you are up. Yes, I'm going to test out this new healed pre -bro or post-broken leg and do an athletics check to get over the half wall again. Got a 17 athletics. All right. Uh, what were you trying to do? Remind me again. Get back over the half wall. Oh, yeah. That's good enough. Cool. Thank you. And I'll come over here to try to help you. Am. Kill him. Ah. Turn. I already used my action to do my cool jump. No, no, no. You still, ha you still have action. Uh, th that was part of your movement. Oh, okay. Then. I'm trying to be a little cinematic with stuff like I'm jumping over the wall and shit like that, you know? Gotcha. Yeah, get, get your Charlie's Angel on. <laughs> okay, then I will try to grapple okay all right that is a 13 brawling check versus let's see what he does fourteen he uh, you are not able to get a hold of him okay all right next is this security officer whose stats have been fixed and will likely not miss his friend as poorly this time Roll that beautiful one. Yeah, that's going to hit. And that is six over, so it's not a headshot. But... Uh, two makes it through his armor. Same thing with this guy. Can that guy see through the smoke? They have a uh, uh, cyber eye low light uh, UV, which allows them to see through smoke as though they were not um, affected by it. I feel like that's cheating. I feel like that's cyberware that I announced that they had at the very beginning. Oh, <laughs> and that is eight over, so that is going to be a headshot. Ooh.
And 14 makes it through this dude's armor. <laughs> All right, next is Arasaka Ninja, who looks at you and Banshee. And give me a perception check, uh, both of you. Right. Or if either of you have uh, ranks in lip reading, you get this for free. Oh, okay. Unfortunately, I do not. Uh, Banshee and Legion, you both uh, are able to see just before he does this, he winks at both of you and just unstraps himself from the uh, 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 the harness and plummets to his death. I'll wave at him. <laughs> and that is a dead ninja. Yam, you are up. What are you doing? There are still some dudes in your apartment. Yeah, but... This this isn't worth our time. Uh, uh, Lovelace Legion, r retreat to the master bedroom. They they got what they had. They came for. Uh, Legion, meet me in the bedroom now. There's still a guy right in front of you. What are you doing? Uh, oh. I guess I'll shoot him. Okay. I don't feel good about. Oh it. man. Eat this. Uh, yeah, and uh, that was an aimed shot, even. Oh, damn. Nice. Yeah. Is that extra But damage? none of it... Uh, well, it, it, it doubles the damage if it makes it through his armor. But it only doubles the damage that makes it through his armor. Okay. None of it made it through his armor. All right, then I will... They, these guys are wearing Kevlar helmets. Actually, uh, they're wearing light... Or is it Kevlar or light armor jack I have on these guys? Uh, know. medium armor <laughs> jack. That's right. These guys are heavy fucking, uh, combat guys. Well, Ian feels like the situation is lost, and we should just retreat back to safety, is, is what he's gonna say to, to Limbo and, and Lovelace, and... Okay. ...fall back into the bedroom. Alright. Next is... This security officer who is going to move here and take a shot again at his own accomplice. Oh, shit. I forgot to uh, fix his thing. Hold on. Let me try that again with the right stats. All right, that is a 23, six over, does not get an auto headshot, but he does get two sixes and applies a uh, critical injury if this guy survives. He did survive, but let's see what his critical injury is. Collapsed lung. <laughs> And he is high as balls right now, just starting to wheeze out of, uh, uh and, and, and this guy's gonna die if, if nobody intervenes. Oh uh, my god, I've had, I've had this trip before. Legion, you're up, and you see just a, a, well, it's barely, now that he's all the way at the ground floor, it's kinda hard to see much of anything, other than something that looks like a vague red stain. Hmm. How do I want to do this? Uh, from this position, can I tell if the cable goes all the way down to the ground? Uh, it stopped halfway down and the winch has been fried, so it's not moving anywhere. Well, uh... The cable the ca itself, no, the I'm cable sure. itself is not going all the way down to the ground. It's about halfway down. Okay. So if you were to slide down to the bottom of the cable, you'd still have about 30 fucking floors to fall. 
Gotcha. Which is what okay. that guy just did to himself. Right. Well, shit. In that case, one, two, three, four, five. In that case, damn it. I am going to move there and pick up my. Um, okay, so your action is to be to pick way. up the dr gun you dropped? Got it. All right, Banshee, what are you doing? Uh, well, now that the ninja's de dealt with, is there anything in this room? It's Yamspert's spare bedroom. It's no, Yamspert's, this is Yamspert's main bedroom. Oh, this is the main bedroom? Yeah, Okay. obviously. All right, uh, uh, sorry. Okay. Don't, don't raid my shit, bro. Go kill the enemies. I will reload my gun. That is an action. Head back to the main foyer, I guess. If my token wants to move. Get right in the doorway. And I end my turn. All right. Limbo is. You did say you wanted one of them alive, and they are shooting at this dude to try and drop him. So the last thing I said was to get in the cover. Oh, the last well, thing you said was to get in the cover. So then he's just gonna yes. run in here and close the door. Then. Yes, that's. I need him alive. Okay. Uh. All right then, Lovelace. What are you doing then? I'm going to run towards this guy again and try another brawling check. All right. How tall is Lovelace? 18. So, Cannon probably 6 feet. I like to make my characters my IRL height. It's like, You're 6 feet tall? Yeah, tall. Yeah. You are 6 feet tall. I, Yes, in real life, and in I'm six games. two, but damn. <laughs> um, okay, get, you he fails his brawling check. You managed to get a hold of that guy. Hell yeah. Uh, all right. Next is this guy who is still trying to kill that guy and uh, make sure that again no witnesses are left behind. So he is shooting at his buddy. But his heart's not in it. No, I mean, this is just business. Bang. And Mr. Blue Glass is fucking dead, I think, after this. Yeah, I would think so. Uh, Yep, he is at negative seven hit points. So that's, that's a dead motherfucker right there. Oh, well, I feel like he should get a save. Um... I, I abide by the uh, John John the Wise's house rule where mooks do not get saves. Specifically, mooks don't get death saves. That's completely fair. And I was just hoping for the best. No, I understand. But, like, yeah. Now, now, like, lieutenants, mini bosses, bosses, those kind of fuckers, those guys get death saves. But mooks do not. Uh, all right, this guy is going to now shoot at the one that is being grappled by Lovelace. Oh, actually, no. He is going to use suppressive fire, trying to force Lovelace to uh, use her action to get behind cover. All right, so you need to make a DV-17 will check, Lovelace. Are the cards, I believe in you. You do not make a, uh, pass a DV-17 will save. Uh, and so you 
uh, must use your action and movement to get behind cover. You don't have a choice. Gotcha. All right. Next is Yam. What are you doing? All right. So I'm going to come over here. Uh, in this little closet is where I keep my, my go bag. I'm going to grab my uh, laptop. Uh-huh. Give me a give me a concentration. Okay. You are so flustered and frustrated you can't remember where you put the go bag. Okay. <laughs> I am flustered and confused. Mm -hmm. ah. But you still have an action. You just can't remember. I hold myself back a little bit. Um, and then as, as an action, I will... What's the equivalent of an investigation in Cyberpunk? Because I am... Uh, uh, conveal, reveal, uh, conceal, reveal, hidden. Thank you. I would like to do that to remember yep. where the go bag is. Yep. I will accept that. 17 is enough for you to remember where the go bag is, but that was your turn. Spending, looking for it. Uh, do I know where it is at least? Yeah, no, that's what I'm saying. You spent your turn, like, you know, retracing your steps, looking around, and you have it. You spot it, you know where it is. You got it. But that okay, was your turn. Thank you. You have, but I'm saying you have it in your possession now. That was your action. Oh, okay. Oh, oh okay. Awesome. Thank you. You spent your turn. Where the fuck did I leave that thing? You know. Yes, I got it. Thank you. All right, it's my turn. Okay. Uh, next is this security officer who uh, is going to break free or try to break free. Um, now, uh, because you still have a hold of him, it is still a brawling check. For him to try and break free from you and are you going to keep trying to hold on even though you have to use your action to try and move to cover as quickly as possible that doesn't mean you have to let go of the guy so my question is are you trying to stay holding on lovelace yeah okay so oppose brawling dv 18 and he succeeds and breaks free. That is his action. And then he's going to use his movement to start getting towards the door. Uh, Legion, you are up. So I'm going to double move and end my turn. Okay. Banshee, you are up. <laughs> Um, closing the door and saying "fuck this shit." Yeah. I'm gonna take a nap. No, go ahead. Now I'm trying to get my token. I, got you. I will you go. be here behind this bookshelf or something. Uh huh. And I will ready an action for any of anyone that comes near me. Okay. Limbo is following orders and staying in that room. Next is Lovelace. Top of the round. So I have to use my movement to get behind cover. Mm -hmm. So I'd probably go behind here. Yep. And then can I use my action to reload my crossbow? Uh, can you still... Uh, do you, you do not still have cover from this guy. He still has line of sight to you. You have to keep moving. Oh, uh, okay. Is here okay? Yep. Yes. So now you still have an action. Okay, so I'll, I will reload. All right. Uh, okay, this guy is making his way towards the stairs. And... 
This guy is making his way towards the stairs. Would I be able to impede him? Did you have a ready to action to do so? Say what? Did you have a readied action to do so? Oh, unfortunately not. I had to, had to double move. Mm-hmm. Whoops, that's one square too many. There we go. And next is Yam. All right, if I have my go bag, then I'm just going to make my way into the other room with Legion. All right, go for it. You mean Limbo? Yes. Or, okay. And just closes the door on Lovelace. All right. Uh, <laughs> next is the last security officer next to you. And same thing. They are, you know, mission accomplished. Time for extraction. Legion, you are now up. Uh, I am going to pursue. Mm-hmm. And take a shot with the dark gun. Okay. Uh, that is a hit. Give me damage. Or is this one of the sleeper darts? Uh, no, this is a regular dart. Okay. All right. None of it makes it through armor. Thought as much. Uh, do you have a second shot? No, you do not. Banshee, you're up. Nah. We, yeah, out of combat? No. Well, it depends. If uh, right now Legion is in pursuit of the guys that are still alive, that are that are that that ran out the door. Hmm. Guess I'm going after him. And I'll use full movement and get out of here. Alright, and that is your turn. Next is Limbo. I'm going to just take him out of combat because he's not doing anything. Is that correct, Yam? Correct. Alright. Lovelace, you're up. So now that the suppressive fire has died down, I'll come back and see what's going on and then see that nobody's here. And No, he isn't. Probably come back and hang out with Limbo and Yam. All right, then I'm just gonna remove uh, Yam Lovelace from combat initiative so we can move faster through what's happening now. And uh, so it's just Legion and Banshee to see if they can put a stop to any one of these guys from getting away. And uh, There we go. This guy makes it here. Heads down the stairs. And uh, I'm going to say he has at least another flight to get down before he... Or to get up. He's, he's actually going up the stairs to the roof. And has at least one more flight to get up before he escapes. And this guy... Same thing. They're heading up up the stairs. This guy. Same thing. Heading up the stairs. And Legion, it is your turn. I'm kind of... Well, I gotta move forward first before I can see that they're going up the stairs. Mm-hmm. But I'll kind of cork my brow at that. And I'm gonna take 
the fucking elevator down. Okay. So I am effectively taking you out of combat then as well. Cool. Uh, Banshee, what are you doing? You're up. Uh, uh, so I've got one guy going upstairs and somebody else going downstairs. No, 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 no. All of the guys, all of the Arasaka uh, uh, operatives are heading up the stairs, probably because they have an AV that they drop, they landed on with. Um, but uh, Legion decided to take the elevator down. Have I heard it? The elevator doors close. You have heard the elevator doors ding open. I would say you would have the opportunity to get on the elevator with Legion if you chose. I will do that. Okay. Uh, I do not think I am strong enough to survive my own in combat yet. Against three fucking Arasaka operatives? Yeah. So just yeah, click no that chance. door in the middle of the elevator and it'll take you to the next floor. Oh. All yeah, right. Fortunately. So in that doing. in that regard, uh um uh Uh, we are out of combat, and here we are, Banshee and Legion, at the bottom of the uh, uh, the the lobby. Uh, a little bit later, obviously, it does take some time for the elevator to go down. Obviously, yeah. Um, but here you guys are at the, uh, uh, in, uh, on the ground floor. What you doing? Yep. And I, I am going to go outside and at the very least recover the hard drive of the computer that was dropped by the ninja. Mm-hmm. And it's not letting me move for some reason. I don't know. Uh, probably. Uh, oh, I don't know. But I'll just. I'll just move you guys to here. Combat for me. It's. Oh, is it still set to combat? I know why. Hold on. I can fix that. All right. Now movement should be correct. There we go. No. But yeah, I'm gonna head out and. Like I said, recovered the hard drive at the very least. All right. You see a huge blood stain on the ground where uh, the Arasaka Ninja was, but there is no body and no laptop. Well, fuck. Well, in the case... No reason for me to stay down here. I'll head back up to Yam's apartment. All right. And just as Legion and uh, Banshee are getting on the elevator, that is where we are going to close the scene tonight and end the session. That was a huge, fun, freaking, uh, uh, hell of a um, Plus se fuck. session, in my opinion. That was, wow, that was fun as fuck for me. I don't know about you guys. <laughs> <laughs> but uh yeah ladies and gentlemen that is the end of tonight's episode of cyber nights tune in next week to see what the knights decide to do with all that has just transpired go ahead and say good night chat <laughs> good night uh, chat we all right. Until next time. Coming out. We love you all. Take care.